You don't know the power of the dark side. Welcome back guys to a brand new video on the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Movie Jewels mod for Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. So yeah, this video is going to be useful for anyone who may be having issues with the installation of the mod or maybe just experiencing any crashes. Of course, I'll leave all the links that are needed for this in the description below. So uh, yeah, no further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So of course, the website here is ModDB. It's where most of the mods for Academy are stored, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a nice convenient way to get most of them. So yeah, what we're going to go ahead and do is click the mod tab, which is right here. And then you'll be put to a list of a bunch of all the mods. And the one we're looking for is here, Star Wars Movie Jewels. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And this is basically the uh, official page for the mod where you can watch like a bunch of videos. There's also some pictures as well, including articles about the updates. Of course, the most recent one was the uh, Christmas update so yeah here we go scroll down to the file section this is where you need to be this is where the files required for the mod are and they come in two parts so we got part one here and part two this is the jedi outcast add-on which you don't need you only uh, install this if you want to play outcast within the movie jewels mod so we're not going to be uh, doing that one today because we're going to be focusing on of course the main mod so these are the two kind of pages you need. So we're going to open both of them. And this is the page for part one. So we're going to go ahead and press the download now button then click to download. And as you can see, it's going to now go ahead and download. It's two gig, so it's quite big, but depending on how your internet is, it might take really quick or it might take quite a while. And of course, part two is why I do the exact same thing. Go ahead and press download. So they end up both downloading right there and of course once they've finished installing you can go ahead and go to the download section and here they both are part one and part two so of course these are the two zip files that are needed nothing else so now what you want to go ahead and do is open of course a file to go to where your jedi academy is downloaded for me it's on my d drive on steam steam apps common and there is Jedi Academy and this is where the game is and I've installed a fresh copy of the game just to make this tutorial like 100% showcaseable <laughs> so yeah you won't see like any uh, other mods installed it's the base game it's all you need so of course you've got part one here and these are all the files all you need to do is go ahead and probably should say this more correctly go to the game data folder in Jedi Academy where of course the uh, two versions are for single player and multiplayer and then you drag these into the game data folder just like that and then once those have been fully extracted that will be the first part of the mod installed of course we still got the second parts to install as well so you just got to go ahead and wait for those to be fully dragged across and there we go, there's conflicting files, make sure to of course replace them in the destination. And there we go. And now once that's done, we can close part one, part two, and of course part two is just a little bit different. Of course we've got the PK3 folders here inside the MD because all you need to do is drag it. And it will essentially overwrite the MD folder here, but not at the same time because it will just add those files into this folder as lot as well as all the other ones that you've already dragged in from part one and there we go just like that it's that simple the mod is now done nothing else it's literally easy as that so what we need to go ahead and do now is press of course on the themoviejewels.86.exe this is the file and you just gotta literally load it up and bam, the mod has been fully installed and you can play it as much as you want with hopefully, of course, a little errors as well. And here we go. This is the mod 
course, got some of my old uh, game saves there. Fully worked, we got everything. Let's just go into a quick. Um, wait, no, that's not where I want to go. Let's go into a quick dual map. Um, ah, look, one. There's, there's so many. Um, maybe a small one, it will load quicker. I can go for the Tomb of Ragnos, why not? Just to prove that it is fully working. And bam, we're in the game. No problems whatsoever. You can swagger around in the uh, throne room area of Marco Ragnos. The boss we are. So yeah, that is it. That is the tutorial on how to install the Movie Jaws mod for Jedi Academy. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If it was very useful, of course, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And with that in mind, I will see you next time.